Think you know your Mac? Well, think again, because in today's video, I'm going to be sharing the top 20 Mac OS shortcuts that will help you get things done without even using your mouse. And you definitely want to stick around because shortcut number seven is going to be a game changer. As the wise Ted Lasso says, doing the right thing is never the wrong thing. So please like this video and subscribe to our channel. You'll definitely be doing the right thing. So let's go to our Macs together. So first on up, we're going to talk about the king of Mac shortcuts, command space. So from our desktop or if there are any other apps open on our screen without clicking on the mouse, hit command space. And now you have spotlight search. And with spotlight search, you can literally open up any app that you want, whether it's Safari or Adobe Lightroom Classic or any other program that comes to mind, but it even goes beyond opening up apps. You can even type in calculations. It'll do that for you. You can even type in weather and it'll give Give you a weather report in your location and trust me it can do so much more than that and that's just tip number one moving on to browser shortcuts you could hit command l that highlights the address bar so you can quickly type or copy a url command w closes the current browser tab which is perfect for cleaning up a tab overload command t opens up a new browser tab command shift t brings back a recently closed tab which is a huge lifesaver because i sometimes actually lose tabs and it is a headache to deal with if I forget what it was in the first place. Command Shift N opens a private window in Safari and Chrome, but for Firefox, you should use Command Shift P. All those shortcuts just listed work for any web browser, whether it's Safari, Google Chrome, Firefox, or what have you. A fun little keyboard shortcut for you is to hold down F N E, and now you have the emoji keyboard. Now you can easily add a little bit of personality to those emails, Word documents, or text messages. Of course, Command Z is the classic undo shortcut that instantly fixes mistakes, whether you deleted a file, a closed tab or made a typo, this will always have your back. So if you accidentally close a tab, Command Z will open it back up. If you make a huge typing mess, Command Z will get rid of all of that. Or even if you accidentally moved a file to the trash, Command Z will bring it right back. When in doubt, use Command Z. It always works out. Now, if you want to feel extra productive beyond keyboard shortcuts, Clean My Mac is a great tool to try. And here's why. Because when your Mac is slow, breaking down, or just acting up, it kind of just breaks up the productive flow of whatever you were doing, and it pulls your focus away from what really matters. It can clear out system some junk like outdated cache files, logs, and language files, so you don't waste time looking for files you could delete to reclaim space. The Clean My Mac menu bar tool gives you real-time insights into your Mac's performance as well, from storage and CPU usage to RAM and battery life, so you always know what's going on. You can also free up memory with a single click, which is especially helpful when you're working with heavy apps. Clean My Mac takes care of the maintenance, so you could focus on getting things done. You could check out the download link in the description box below if you want to start a 7-day free trial of Clean My Mac to get started. All right, so let's talk about some essential shortcuts that'll help you speed up everyday tasks. If you select a file and you hit Command Option Delete, it'll actually just delete this immediately and skip the trash can. Command Control Q will lock up your Mac, so if you need to step away, you can now secure your privacy and nobody can access your computer. Command Option Shift V pastes things using the destination formatting. Now let's talk about some useful shortcuts that you can use on YouTube, and you could try it on this video right now. As the video is playing, you could press J to rewind 10 seconds, K and it pauses and unpauses the video, and you could press L to fast forward 10 seconds as well. You could press C to turn on captions and C to turn it back off, and you could press M to mute and unmute. Now let's talk about some screenshot shortcuts. If you ever need to take a screenshot or record your screen, these shortcuts make it quick and effortless. Command Shift 4 allows you to draw an area where you would want to make a specific screenshot or you can hit command shift 4 and without dragging the cursor hit space and now you can take a screenshot of the entire screen or you can hit command shift 5 and now you have a bunch of options to do screen grabs or screen recording so here's a nice example for using those two tools see my cursor spinning around right here i'm going to hit command shift 4 and i'm going to take a screenshot of this tweet right here but if i accidentally drag the box a little bit too slow and i ran out of space for my mouse go back to that corner then drag it back faster and the Mac will calibrate and give you a bigger box even though you only dragged the same amount of distance on your trackpad, on your mouse. You would let go to take that screenshot, but what happens if you want to take the whole screen? You can hit Command Shift 4, then hit Space, and then press Enter. Or a quicker way to do a screenshot of the entire window, just hit Command Shift 3. And you would see all of your screenshots will appear in the bottom right corner when you take them, throw them off to the right if you want to save them, and you can find all of those screenshots in your desktop folder. Now let's talk about some very useful app shortcuts. 
shortcuts. If you press Command H, it'll hide the current app and move to the next one. Command Comma will open up the app's preferences and settings, and Command Q will force quit the app. And that one is very useful if your computer is slowing down, the app is misbehaving, or just something is freezing up. And that's all I have for you guys in today's video. I hope that you enjoyed some of those shortcuts, and hopefully you apply those in your everyday life just to speed things up a little bit. But if you have any Mac shortcuts that we didn't cover, please drop a comment down below, and we would love to have your input on that. But until then, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I will see you in that next video.